Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, if you're wondering where I am, I am right here. This is the bridge that supposedly leads to this other area, which I think is the tutorial area. So my sort of line of thinking here is let's go and explore this place a little bit before moving on. I want to just take a look around the game world. Uh, and see what else we can find because this is a free roaming game so bridge of sacrifice okay we have lots of sacrifice going on here in souls games road of sacrifice bridge of sacrifice okay these guys are i'll be able to definitely <laughs> okay i'll definitely be able to tell if the area is sort of a little bit beyond my capacity because I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Okay, this is not good. Oh wait! What the fuck am I doing? Come on, get off! Why do I have a horse if not to use him? Each it bitches. Okay, these guys are they don't look like they're really that far above my level. So we should be Gucci here. Uh, getting a lot of bolts, which I should be saying. These skulls, man, are, these skulls are unbelievable. They're like randomly tune about the world map. It's kind of funny. Hey, a stone sword key. Good thing I didn't buy that. The thing is, uh, I have no idea where other stone swords are or stone sword key places but might as well have them what is this place called weeping peninsula is that bridge of sacrifice it said weeping peninsula i think uh do what you want with that information <laughs> uh, let's get on the horsey it looks like there's a pretty clear path to explore here hello there lady are you okay? Is somebody there? Oh. Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Arena. Arena. From Castle Morn to the south. Morn. Have rebelled. I. I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. Okay. My father secreted me out the castle. Secreted, no? Is it? Because secreted is something else, no? Whatever. We're not gonna get into the grammar details. Uh, if this is Souls game standard, he's gonna be already dead. Sure thing. He is one million percent dead. Listen. Girl, Irina, is that your name? Um, I don't want to be a downer, really. But I've been around the block when it comes to Souls games. And... The chances of your father being alive... I'd say are slim. Very slim. Interesting, I can use my weapon. Because I was gonna say, one of the things that sucks... Yeah, I can, but I don't have 19 strength, do I? I have 17. Hold on. Am I stoned? Does need 19 because I was gonna say one of the things that's sort of a shame about is a shame about me using this weapon is that up until now I couldn't use it on the horseback because I didn't have the strength for it, it does like no damage. So I don't know how the horse mechanic works when it comes to the strength requirements, but 
good thing I can use it because that was kind of annoying. I always had to switch to the um, the other weapon, my Reduvia blade or whatever it's called. Strip of white flesh. Let's just take a look. I don't know. I, this this giant is a little bit suspicious. Is it gonna kill me? Yep. Okay. Listen, I didn't mean to hurt you, giant, but yeah, this this weapon absolutely destroys these things. Uh, pretty much two jumping attacks, and they're down, and you can get the critical. And then after you get the critical, you get on the shit with the bleed, and it's basically over for them. Yeah, this is how I was sort of quote unquote farming souls. Uh. Not really, but you know, when I was getting my smithing stones, these guys are incredibly easy to kill. Okay, before we move on, this is a bit of a massacre. Strip of white flesh. Thin strips of flesh taken from a bloodless creature. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. This is a new enemy. Whoa! Stay cool. God, this this weapon like really delivers pain from the horseback. Oh yeah, and I have this. I put these on my quick inventory because I want to feed my horsey. You know, just to maintain that relationship. It's kind of a shame you can't pet him. Uh, like you can in like Shadow of the Colossus or something. Ash of War Mighty Shot. Interesting, this is bow related. Speaking of, I haven't had my bow equipped in quite a while. Might be useful to have. This place looks huge and I think... There's a checkpoint there, but what I'm like sort of looking for or gonna try to look for is the map if it's around. That is definitely something that will help. But hey, we're discovering NPCs and all all that. It's a merchant, so let's go talk to him. And I probably do have Yep. So we're gonna go strength, one point away. Oh, by the way, I didn't even mention, I tried killing uh, this dude, the Stormhill Evergill, the one that has the dude that looks like uh, the Pursuer. He's too too fucking difficult. Like, he deals more damage to me than Margit did. Not Margit, uh, Godric did, so I feel like I'm still underleveled for him, and I barely do any damage to him. All right, let's just let's just take a look here. Iron helmet, scale armor. Yeah, that's the other thing we need. We need some like dope ass armor. Oh, you sell the bastard sword. Shit. Well, whatever. I don't know what these do, but let's pick it up. I like this weapon more than the bastard sword, uh, the one I have now. So. The, the armors are kind of what's sort of tickling me a little bit because I feel like we need some dope ass armor. I don't know. The samurai armor doesn't really gel with the vibe I'm going for, really. Uh, let me try and figure this out. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. I did sell in my runes, which, again, like in Dark Souls 3, it's quicker to sell this, this merchant your runes then sometimes popping them oh that's the map isn't it i think it is i bet you that's gonna be an ambush but still i'm missing the cash for the armor piece it's okay it's okay we'll go around sort of exploring here and i'm sure it's gonna turn up man it would be nice if i could open my map which signals to me that there's 
What the fuck is going on? Oh. Am I getting shot at? I think I'm getting blasted. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be... Mm, not Ash Lake. What is the place called in Dark Souls 3? Smoldering Lake. All over again. Okay, just give me give me a chance to check my map. That's all I'm asking for. Still not. Fuck. Please tell me this is not the gimmick of this area that you're just like constantly getting shot by the arrows. That's gonna that's gonna be wonderful. Nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, it looks like there's a path there. So all of these ruins, there's an every jail. These are probably dungeons. So the grace thing is leading me this way. Where the shots are coming from. So I'm guessing that's like the main... The place to be, you know. So what I'm gonna do is let's explore a little bit. Let's check out some places and then I don't know, we'll figure out what to do. I'm seeing there's one of these things that leads to a dungeon. And these eagles, they're like the slowest eagles ever. Lame as hell. They don't just like fly away, they're just sort of Slowly drifting out. Hey, hey. I'm guessing it's down there. The dungeon. So like, yeah, like somewhere over there. I'm gonna mark it. Should we run their party? Let's do it. Okay. They have some magic. Okay. Maybe they're gonna ruin my party. I doubt it. Fuck. Yeah, they're definitely gonna ruin my party. Ah, uh, hold on. Look at that thing. I don't think so, bitch. Get out of here with your magic. Oh, you are so screwed. Eat shit. That felt satisfying. Um, they looked evil, so I did the World of Elden Ring a favor, I think. God, I, I really like that we have like a whole new <laughs> full area to explore. Super cool. Uh, yeah, new dungeon. New dungeon. Impaler's Catacombs. Let me guess, the boss of this area is going to be called an Impaler. An Impala. Well, we're gonna see if this place is any interesting. Um, if not, I'm gonna try sort of short tracking this place. Ah, oh. my least, my least favorite enemy so far in this game. These guys. So this is gonna be pleasant. Gotta keep an eye out because they can. Like, ambush you from anywhere. Oh, come on. So many of them. I'm gonna get bled. That's gonna, like, screw me. Backstab. HP. Cool, 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 cool. 
These things suck. And it looks like they're just not like they're not like restricted to one dungeon, which really was my hope a little bit. I knew it. See that that one was a little bit obvious game. They have no poise though, so got that going for us. By the way, I did do some crafting in the last episode. I got like a bunch of useless shit, which I'm never gonna remember to actually to actually equip. But you know, that's like fire damage boosts physical attack. That might be useful. And I managed to get one single fire bomb, which I'm gonna. Oh, what the? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> nice. Okay, so legit, I had to look this up, but this this is the way forward. It's just this kind of looked like a bottomless pit. That's why I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But all clear now, so we can safely move on. To weird zombos that I'm just gonna like mash and kill because they're weak as hell. Holy shit, they're weak. <laughs> or these weapons are really strong. And they may, may just keep respawning, so you know. These feel, again, as I've said many times, that these feel so much like chalice dungeons is insane but i do like that you're sort of encouraged to visit these things or these catacombs because you know the chalice dungeons to me have always felt very separate to the main game in bloodborne you know like you use a different means to access them uh they're like fully 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 optional and these things are, these catacombs are fully optional as well, but it still sort of feels different, you know. Uh, they're more integrated into the game instead of almost feeling like a separate mode. And, you know, this is coming from someone who enjoys chalice dungeons up to, up to the point where they get, like, insanely difficult. Uh, there's a point in chalice dungeons where just pretty much it's like, oh, fuck, I, sh I should have, at this point I should see this coming. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. I'm not gonna die to the... Probably the last enemy before the shortcut. Cool. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Let's rest up and take on this boss. There's a fall death right there. One per episode is the required quota. All right, let's see who or what this is. What the hell is that? Earth tree? It's another one? Oh, with ads. Okay. There's a chance I'm gonna, there's a chance I'm gonna dislike this. I hate bosses with fucking gank annoying ads. Okay, so my tactic is gonna be take out the two... the back here. Cool. The ones that have ranged attacks. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Thank fuck for jumping attacks, man. Is there still one left? No, no, there isn't. Ah. Man. Okay. Stay cool, stay cool. Fuck.
thing isn't difficult either, it's just... Kill it? Cool. Yeah, that was really easy except for the... the add-ons. Demi-human ashes. Okay, we got a new thingy. Yeah. I, I, I was guessing that some of these dungeon bosses are gonna be recycled, because I'm assuming there are more dungeons than there are bosses. Cool. Okay, what we can do now is return to our original objective, which is... It's not really an objective, I just want to go here and see what see what's up there. And that's what I'm gonna do. This is one of those great rune towers, isn't it? I think this is what they look like. Uh, let's just check it out. Seek three wise beasts. Orders rise. I think, yeah. So, probably can't do anything with this. Alright, let's just warp back. I'm assuming you will have like all of these like bosses and the leech correspond to one of the places. Very well explained, Mr. Sketchhead, but you, you know what I mean. And then you do whatever you do in the towers. I think what you do is you power up the great rune, which does something. Sorry, goat. I didn't get jack shit. That's a cool little house. Yellow ember. Oh, fuck. You know what I need is fucking thin beast bones. I don't know what you have to kill to get thin beast bones, because that's the shit you use to uh, make arrows and... Free arrows are always good. This totally looks like something you could go into, but no. This was fucking Fortnite, I'd break the roof. But it's not Fortnite. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Alright, goat. They're imitating Dark Souls PvPers. Uh, it's a village. Well, I'm not one to shy away from exploration. Kalu ba Baptismal Church. There's like something... What is that status? Okay, we have new status, guys. That's not poison, because I've been poisoned before. Uh, and that's not what it looked like. Flame of Frenzy, interesting. Well, it's a spell, right? Okay, you have a lot of HP. Oh, because I'm one-handing my weapon. And I still can't do that. Spam it. Sacred Tear. Improve Sacred Flask's potency. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Now all, I need, now all we need is another one of these. And the other thing we picked up is this. Flame of Frenzy. Incantation originating from the Maddening Three Fingers. Causes the yellow Flame of Frenzy to burst forth from the caster's eyes. Charging increases the range of the burst. The Flame of Frenzy deals damage and causes buildup of madness. This incantation also causes buildup of madness in the caster and is only effective against Tarnished. 
So I'm guessing that that status is madness. The only question is, what the fuck does it do? I can only guess that whatever it does, it ain't good and I don't want it on me. So ailing village. And these, this, this game is so cool. Like you just find random shit like this. I'm kind of in love. Not gonna lie. Eye of Yellow. Flame Crest Wooden Shield. I know I'm just like <laughs> reading the item names, but it's like. I'm kind of shook that I just sort of discovered this place. Doesn't look like there's a boss here. It's okay, doesn't have... Doesn't... Everything doesn't need to have a boss is what I'm trying to express. But apparently I'm so shook that I can't even speak. Yeah. We need to get up on there. Lucky thing is you're dealing with a platforming god, so I'm quickly gonna have this figured out. Told you. Oh, it's my... It's my. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. Still, I only did this to demonstrate what a platforming god I am, so... Goal achieved. Is that, is that all that is here? I mean, not that I'm like, not satisfied. I'm just wondering. Cool, that's our next spot. Actually, it's pr probably easier to get there from here. Uh, Cause it, like getting down is a bit of a pain in the ass. But getting over here isn't. Unless... Nope. Luckily the Skyrim horse effect is alive and well in this game. And I couldn't be happier. Told you. Thank you Skyrim horse. Still can't quite make it up vertical cliffs, but we're almost there. This isn't so bad. I need to use that flask thing. Don't you forget it, Mr. Sketchhead. What the hell? Um, I don't know what just happened, but it was cool. Sometimes coolness is all I want. What a bruz. Oh, it's more of these like goblin things. I gotta get I gotta stop getting distracted. Yeah, I killed all your buddies, didn't I? You might be like, Mr. Sketchhead, your aim is terrible. And to that I say, yes it is. Rickety shield and glowstone. I'll take anything that comes my way. Demi-human forest ruins. Demi-humans. They're goblins. Listen. Don't even get me started on the naming conventions. I know a goblin when I see one. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's like their ringleader, I'm guessing. There's gotta be a fucking... resting spot around here somewhere. No way there isn't. Man, it would be nice to find it, though.
Oh, I think there was a statue of Marika there. Which sort of is the same effect. And then this leads... Okay. I'm just trying to piece everything together. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is... Since we have a stake of Marika, so a checkpoint basically... I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. Things are sort of getting crazy. I'm actually really liking this area. I thought this was just going to eventually lead back to the tutorial area. Which it might, because I'm pretty sure like that's where we started, right? Or something, I don't know. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.